Can your Tesla be hacked? Well, I think you kind of know the answer to that because you know anything can be hacked nowadays, but how often? What are the ways they can hack you? Uh, all good questions. And I'm gonna give you an answer, at least for one method that's been discovered a while back, but kind of making headlines today. And there are a lot of other news. I actually, I think quite a few news that could have been headliners. So let's talk about it all. All of this is coming up next. Thank you if you are watching me live on Patreon and you can go to patreon.com slash electric contribute to the show and be able to watch me live and of course the extra mile, the special segment that I just do for my Patreons. And if this is your first time here and you are interested in staying up to date on everything that's going on in the world of electric cars, welcome. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button so you don't miss anything moving forward. All right, let's talk about Tesla hacking. Uh, and it's funny that this topic is coming up because I was just in San Francisco for the TechCrunch Disrupt uh, and I was one of the the panels that I moderated uh, was this panel with uh, some experts on security and we talked about this. Uh, the, the guy in the middle actually uh, is, uh, of, of, he used to work uh, for Tesla in Apple in their security, uh, in their security department. So we had a pretty good conversation and I will post those video videos to you guys as soon as they're made available to me. But, and here's an interesting video that was released about how to hack a key fob for, for your Tesla. And this is one of the most common ways how a lot of people end up uh, hacking it. And um, the thing is, the, the this was uh, discovered by our sort of researchers at KU Leuven University in Belgium. It was discovered a while back, actually in August of last year. They re now they weren't trying to exploit this for you know they're just kind of researchers trying to figure this out as a challenge. They reported it to Tesla. Tesla paid them about ten thousand dollars, which is pretty common. I think it's called bug bounty. Um, and then Tesla didn't do much about it until very recently, re really June of this year, where they've updated those key fob with a new encryption algorithm. Now, also, they just recently, uh, and I reported on this, uh, came up with this uh, four, uh, four digit pin, I believe. Uh, so even if you get into the car, you kind of have to still uh, put that pin in before you can drive it. Uh, now, why did they wait for so long? I don't know. But uh, if you do have a Tesla right now that was uh, sold after this June, I mean, before this June, so you, you're vulnerable to that. Um, there are two ways what you can do, right? One, you wait for the uh, over the year update and then you use that four pin or whatever the pin uh, that you wanna pick, or you go to Tesla and you buy, I think it's $150 for each key fob, you buy the new key fob that will work with your existing car. But nevertheless, this is one of those things. Now, the reason it's making, making headlines is because they're presenting it today. They're actually, uh, it looks like Tesla taking care of this as much as Tesla wanted to, and uh, they are free to kind of publish it, um, you know, just just as a as a paper, as a research paper, as it's always uh, or often done. Uh, they're going to be published if they haven't already, because in Europe it's already been Monday, right? Um, so very interesting. Uh, obviously, something to be aware of. And just like I said, as I moderated that, that panel last week. Um, this will continue happening, not, and not just with Tesla, it will continue happening with other cars. I believe this method can be also applied to Karma and McLaren and a few other companies. But listen, the more tech we put in our cars, obviously, the, the, the more it's going to get hacked. Um, all right, let's move on to uh, the, another uh, Tesla news. Before that, just want to remind you that this show and this channel is sponsored by Evanex, the aftermarket accessories for Tesla that I don't think you can hack. Uh, but there's a discount code in the description of this video. Go ahead and grab it so you can save yourselves a few bucks. All right, Tesla held a, a Model 3 delivery event um, over this weekend. And a lot of us, especially the first reserv day reservation holders, got this email. Um, and essentially, they kind of said that, in, you, know, you know, instead of making this custom uh, configured Model 3s, they just kind of decided to make made a batch of the most popular ones and kind of put it up for sale. And it's a first come first uh, serve basis and it's been sent out to first reservation holders and I think uh, first day reservation holders and a few others. Um, and I'm not really sure what first come first serve means. Do you actually have to show up to their factory to pick it up or can you just kind of have them deliver it and contact them? I did reply to that email, they didn't reply back to me, so I really don't know. Um, some people already had a few issues with the way that how Tesla handles their Q Model 3 Q because you know some people have been waiting for their configuration for over two years and some people come in like you know right now uh, can configure a certain uh, the car in a certain way and get it in a few weeks. Um, 
you know, this seems like, I mean, I know they're trying to, you know, push for the end of the qu uh, quarter and I totally understand they, they need those numbers. But some people are upset because they're saying like, well, now we're waiting even longer while you're making this, you know, this batch so you can kind of uh, mass sell it to people who may be behind uh, me in that queue. So, but nevertheless, they held at this event and we'll see how they do. Obviously, the numbers will probably b look good. And by the way, and here's another news that that's pretty big, I think. So Tesla stock is, you know, kind of tank uh, last week because of, you know, of all of this. But now it's back up because um, the senator is at Baird. Um, he uh, toured the Tesla factory and he said, listen, <laughs> you need to look beyond all this drama because the company itself is producing. I don't really know if you needed a tour to do that. I kind of been trying to say say this for quite a few weeks now is that even, even though Musk has been kind of out of control, it's it's been kind of overshadowing all the good news that have been happening. Now, yes, Model 3 production right now is down. It's not it's not even at 5,000. I don't I believe Electric even uh, reported that they've never hit 5,000 units uh, per week ever since they've done it at the end of June. But nevertheless, the production numbers are amazing. This car is being sold left and right, beating all records. So it's a lot of good news. So based on that, uh, somehow he told everybody, hey, don't look at Elon's Twitter. They're actually making cars. And everybody said, oh, really? Okay, we'll buy the stock. So the stock uh, went up, I mean, at least when, when I'm talking about this, uh, six percent just on that so that's good now another major news that tesla had and you know how everybody's you know elon said well we don't need to raise any more money and i was like dude you definitely do need to raise a lot of money and there's no shame in it uh so now they kind of raised more money now it is uh in um sort of loans um and the way things are done in china is a little bit different but they've secured from like uh chinese um, not investors, but banks and so forth, um, and up to 600, 680 million, which is not enough to build the factory, but it's enough to get it going. And yes, this is a money that's being borrowed, but some people can say, well, you know, you, you need more money and you're getting it from somewhere on some terms. So there. Now, I think they, that that was long coming. I also think they're going to need to do the same thing or something similar for their Model Y. Obviously, production is coming up. So, And I don't understand why people reacted badly to, you know, any type of news where you know, Tesla needs to raise more money. Yeah, to make more awesome cars that sell really fast. Um, there's no shame in it, I, you know. So... I thought it was also big news, uh, good on them. I just don't think it's a big deal. And see, as soon as, the, the whole thing usually comes from Musk, right? He wasn't talking much about this, and now people see this news go like, well, that sounds reasonable. And as long as Elon Musk doesn't jump in and say, yeah, no, we're not raising any money, there is no news. As a matter of fact, the news is good. So I like this. Um, it looks like it's gonna take them two years to build it, uh, at least. And uh, Musk says about $2, million, uh, $2 billion, I think it's going to be much more. Um, and they will wrap it up a, a year and two after that. So looking forward to that. Now, Nissan Leaf, as, as, as uh, Inside EVs have been reporting on sales for August, the Nissan Leaf continues to disappoint in their sales in the United States. But they're definitely not disappointing in sales in Europe and Japan. Now, in Europe, up to this day, uh, Inside EVs reports that it sold over 43,000 uh, uh, Leafs. And here's an interesting number. They're reporting that 70% of those were sold to people who drove gas cars before, which is, I think, amazing news. This is, this is exactly what we want. Um, and three quarter of those people actually chose the ProPilot, which I thought was not really that great when I drove uh, the, uh, I think I, I drove a prototype at that time about a year ago. Uh, but so that's surprising. It looks like people believe in Nissan, believe in tech. And listen, next year, 2019 is going to be even better because of upgraded battery uh, from uh, LG Cam uh, with a, a active thermal system and, uh, and a longer range possibility. So that's great. Uh, let's move on to Mercedes-Benz that, um, uh, I think it's their van uh, 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 department, the van branch that released uh, this. And uh, there's also a video to go uh, with it. And essentially, they're kind of trying to showcase what the pods that we're going to be riding in uh, in the future are going to look like. Um, and uh, some people say, oh, you know, why are you guys making them ugly again? You know, look how unattractive that. To be honest with you, when you're ride sharing, I don't think you care about what uh, those cars look like. I personally don't think they, by the way, look that bad. Um, and you'll see later in the video, you can interchange the 
the top of the car, like a bikini top. You can go topless and you can put a different top on it. It's great. Um, I don't think when you order an Uber and you know, you like here, see here, the top comes off. So uh, when they order an Uber, do you care which car is actually going to be driving you to the airport? You don't. Unless it's a Prius, then you, then you cancel. But but other than that, you know, you don't care. So what do you care what these pods look like? They look better than most of the cars right now, I think. Um, and as long as they're safe, as long as the technology works, I say fine. Um, so in the interesting that Mercedes-Benz released it, I really don't think they have a program right now for the ride sharing, but they made a major splash last week by introducing EQC, their very first all electric car. So good that they're actually thinking about the future. Again, I actually don't think this looks bad at all. I kind of like it. Um, so we'll see what happens. But again, a major manufacturer jumping into this. Absolutely love it. All right, let's move on to the comment of the day. And of course, it's going to be about this. There's a lot of comments about the video that I made on uh, Friday. I think a lot of people missed the point. Um, here's one of the comments was was most common and I kind of wanted to address this um, because it's a complete, I think, misunderstanding of what I say, which happens a lot, I have to say. Anyway, uh, Levi Eugene says, uh, so my, my title of my video was that Elon Musk got high, right? He said, got high, he, he takes one sip and don't even inhale, come on. No, you come on. The point is not whether he inhale or not inhale, we got high, not got high. The, the point is this, the imagery of this. You know, the stock fell a lot just based on this and some executives quitting. You can argue their head of HR you know, pretty much quit the next day because some people are saying that this, even though marijuana is illegal in California, it's still illegal on the federal level. So this may be violating um, some Tesla policy where you can't break federal law, for example. Uh, so no, it's the imagery. It's the imagery, silly. It, I don't care whether he was actually high on weed or Ambien or whatever. It is this weird thing that he keeps doing and doing to himself. And I'm, that's why I was excited about the report that came out today that that got the stock back up because saying, never mind this guy. <laughs> Look at what the Tesla is actually doing with the numbers and everything. So no, you come on. Please understand what I'm saying here. I don't care about his condition for the two or three hour when he was uh, doing the footage. I care about the very long lasting image that we've, we're going to continue featuring and the media is going to continue featuring. It's not going to be helping him. Though from my end, just like I said, I thought it was kind of cool to see him relaxed and kind of have a human conversation, but that's not how people see it. People who buy stock, that's not how they see it. That's, that's why I thought this was a problem. All right, that's pretty much it for me. Tomorrow my show is gonna be a little bit later because I'm going to literally an undisclosed location. I kind of think you guys can guess where I'm going, but they told me don't tell anybody until you can release the footage on Saturday. And that's what I'm gonna be doing. But so I'm gonna do my show a little bit later in the day, so bear with me. Um, but I will definitely make, uh, have fun uh, uh, tomorrow and I will bring that report to you guys on Saturday. All right, thanks so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow and remember to stay charged.